So this is a video response to Alan W2AEW's video on RF samplers and um, AMD mods. He had a neat little video where he showed how to monitor a ham radio station using um, an oscilloscope. So I took his uh, his design and built it into a little case here. I'll open it up and show you the insides of it. The back side has the output. So you have an, an RF input and output, and then you have a, a sampler um, port and a demod port. And uh, I'll open it up and I'll show you the schematics, and then I'll demonstrate how it works on a digital scope. He used an analog scope, and the analog scope uh, has some differences in performance um, than the way the digital scopes uh, pick the signals up. So it'll be interesting to show the differences between my digital Rigol scope here versus uh, Alan's uh, Textronics analog scope. Okay, so I've opened up the uh, little test device here and you'll see that uh, the RF comes in right here and it passes through this copper conductor and out the output port over here. And then the right hand side of this over here is the RF sampler and uh, we'll just look at the schematic here in a second. And the left hand side of this is the uh, is the is the uh, D mod. So if you look at the schematic here, this is uh, very similar to Allen's schematic. Uh, we start off with our RF in right here and go straight RF out. Uh, we're going to go on the sampler side. We're going to go through a resistor divider here, pulse divider with the resistors. This is set up for about a 100 to 1 ratio. So I got a 56K half watt resistor here, and then a uh, other uh, half watt uh, uh, 560K resistor. And then we uh, a little cap here to couple it and then uh, out to your sampler. So that's right here. And actually, I did step this. Uh, resistor up from the original design on my schematic. I did put a, uh, a higher wattage resistor there to make sure that I can run my 100 watt radio into it. So this is a this is a 1 watt resistor here and then there's my resistor to ground and uh, the cap, the, the uh, 0 0.01 nanofarad cap. And then the DMOD circuit uh, we tap off the same point here go through a 10 picofarad cap. We have a uh, diode to ground. Um, this we got another one here and then we go with another 1000 puck cap to ground for filtering and then a bleed resistor here, 1K resistor, and then out to our DMOD port. So that's this one right here. So there's our 10 picofarad cap. There's our two diodes, and then our capacitor, you get a better picture of this here, our capacitor and bleeder resistor going to the ground. So that's probably a little better picture of the whole circuit. Okay, so now I've got it hooked up here. I've got my scope, my Rigol DS1102 scope. It's a uh, set up with our two channels. So I've got the uh, I've got the uh, my ICOM 7000 rig here set up to test it. It's on uh, 20 meters. Got uh, the RF sampler. So I've got my output from the radio going into the back of the RF sampler. Um, and then I've got that's then this comes out here to the dummy load. It's 100 watt dummy load back there. And then I've got my RF sampler port on the green coax. It goes down to channel 1 on my scope. And then I've got the uh, red coax here on the D mod going into channel 2 on the scope. So that's how the radio is set up. Um, I'm on, I can go to AM mode here. Okay, so we're on AM mode on, uh, we'll do 14300. Okay, so I'll key up the radio here. And I'll look at my scope, keep my radio here. And you'll see the carrier there. And if I speak into the mic, test one, two, three, you'll see the amplitude modulation working just fine. So you can see that. That's uh, showing how 
the RF carrier on AM it goes, and then we have the uh, amplitude modulation. If I switch over to USB mode, you'll see the carrier goes away, and you'll see the uh, just the modulated signals. We'll do that here. Okay, now we're on USB, and now when I transmit, then we'll see more just the modulation there. It's a little bit of sine wave. Okay, so now I've turned on the uh, channel 2 output, and uh, now we're still on AM mode here. And then when I key up to transmit, we'll see on the scope, there's the modulated signal, signal there. So you can see my voice peaks. And that's, uh, like I said, uh, Alan's video looks a little different, uh, the analog scope versus the digital scopes. Um, I can do the other thing Alan showed, which is superimposing the two, so you will do that here. We'll turn both channel 1 and channel 2 on. So this is a little trick that uh, Alan did here, so I'll duplicate that, where he puts the uh, channel 2 move position up there, so it's right on top of the uh, top part of the carrier on the AM signal. So you can see the demodulated signal riding on top of the, uh, the carrier, so you've got your two signals simultaneously going into the screen there. So, hope you enjoyed watching the video. This is Matt, AE7MK, 73s.